Welcome back to Hunting Land, Mike. Let's dive into this week's video. We are going to use hinge cutting to improve our hunting location. See right behind me? That's a nice little deer stand and it's right in a little bottleneck. But we're gonna improve it just a little bit more with the use of some hinge cutting and creating a blockade. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Hunting Land Mike channel. Today, I wanna go in depth a little bit on hinge cutting and utilizing hinge cutting in a situation where you're improving a hunting location to better guide or influence deer travel in a specific area. One, yes, it might attract a little bit of the deer right in this location by the deer stand, but the main objective is to actually create this blockade behind the deer stand so they have to come in through the gap in front of it. And in, what this will do is improve the usability of access getting in and out of this stand. It's not far here down this finger of woods from the, to the egg field where we can quickly come up from the high ground, jump into this little finger of woods and come down right to the bottom here. And what we noticed in late season is they're actually bottlenecking through here already. So we're just accenting it enough to make it that much better in the fall for this coming season. So we actually have a stand here above us. I'll show you a little bit more in the video. All we're doing is using a sawzall to cut some of these trees. Some of them we're gonna just cut down. Some of them we'll try to hinge cut. We're gonna do a little bit of both. But the main use here, or the main application here is to create an influence of travel. So then we have a better setup come fall with the bow. Here's just a quick look <clears throat> at the setup that we're improving. So here's a little food plot we would like to put in. Here's the stand location. Here's one of the bedding areas and the white dots are gonna be what we've seen for a lot of deer travel and what we want the deer travel to be. Um, this is our access in and out of the stand using mainly west winds and right here on this purple line this is going to be where we do our our barricade work and hinge cutting in here and just blocking this end of this finger off so I mean they'll probably come up around here a little bit but a lot of times they're gonna come down on the bottom of this finger hit this pinch and hit this food plot and work their way to the south or to the north. So in this location, we actually had kind of a natural hinge cut of a tree that's kind of blocking this spot off. Um, we got some more back in there too, in a pie. But this is, we're gonna just thicken this up here. The goal here is to make it almost more impenetrable. Uh, this is just the location I used in late season. Um, and it's really easy to access quickly. You know, you have some terrain features where it kind of, the terrain follow, falls down here into this finger of woods, and this finger of woods goes up to the egg field, and that's upon high ground. So you can quick access from the road over there and just jump right down into the stand here with minimal intrusion. We are up in this stand location. Just as a double check here before we start cutting a bunch of trees. But right here down to my left, we're gonna kind of improve this so there's kind of a blockade in here. We want to kind of influence so they come down on this trail in front of us and around this point. Then there's another food plot this way. There's probably food off that way too, but a lot of times they bed down into the river bottom. We just want them to influence up to here and then travel away. Um, they do travel north to the south in here. Uh, so if we have this little food source in here, it's gonna kind of pull their travel down this hill, along this tree line, down this trail, through the river bottom, up to here. 
and work their way off that way, whether that's morning or evening. So we're gonna clean this spot up here a little bit, blockade this, and we're good to go. So that one we hinge cut hinge cut the branch itself. It was already kind of in the way of the of the stand location. But this will also add some cover here at the base of the tree. Because this will leap up hopefully and add that extra layer of cover. Let's keep going. So as you can see, as I'm cutting these, I'm trying different heights as I'm going. One, just to manipulate kind of where I want all the trees to lay and what elevations and just kind of snack, stacking them together in there basically. And then when I'm cutting, I'm cutting only about 60% of the way through. So you're not cutting that whole cambium later, layer on the tree. So the so that's gonna add that barrier layer here, that cover for access and orienting the travel. Um, a lot of these tree species in here aren't really preferred by deer, I don't think. So, you know, we're, we're really just trying to stack it in really thick in here everywhere. And if we kill a tree in this location, we're not super worried because the goal here really isn't to really provide the actual cover of food we want to we want to actually improve the food and cover in other areas not right here right in the heart of our stand so that branch right there we're gonna leave this tree standing for now but this other branch out here we're gonna use that to lay over those other ones i just hinge cut behind me just to add in those other layers Hopefully this one you'll be able to see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So there, just went, had a nice horizontal cut at about 60% of the way through, you get this nice hinge in the cambium layer in the bark here. Hinge in this tree. And that laid out perfectly over these other ones. And this blockade continues to improve um, pretty soon. I don't think deer are going to want to come through here very much. They're just, they're, they're most likely going to have the, follow that path of least resistance and go around these this little blockade in here um, and then we'll influence some other areas so we actually have some better cover and food for them where we want you know where that's going to be more beneficial to them and then use this as the benefit to us for access and get up in that stand and shoot us a nice buck
This is why I'm targeting the smaller trees. It can get actually very dangerous doing these cuts and see things can get hung up on other trees pretty easy if there's deadheads, you know, those widow makers and not seeing that when they're coming down and things falling on you. And that's a pretty high cut. Um, so with a smaller tree, I can manage that a lot better. Cut halfway through, see how it's gonna lay, grab something. Habitat hook is nice. I've got a tree stick. We're grinding it out here. Tree stick and a sawzall. Make it happen. We've just finished up doing a majority of the hinge cutting and you can tell that the canopy is open a ton in here which I'm excited to see what the response is and like actually getting a bunch of green up and thick growth in here. Just a little recap of today's video. All you need is some simple tools. You can use a chainsaw. Sawzall works great. Um, we came in here 30% we just actually cut down some trees and the rest we hinge cutted and made a tangle of a mess back here. We're gonna add in some other dead trees and limbs in here when we come back and we are gonna make this a sweet little barricade. It's gonna make it really hard for deer to penetrate and want to come through here to access this food plot. They're gonna have to go around and hit this bottleneck right in front of the stand. So that's our video today. Stay tuned. We have a lot more stuff coming up here in January and we got a lot of winter left to improve our land. So follow along.